Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got uh, Mike Bobby doing a personal box, one box of 2018 Topps Heritage Baseball. It's from a fresh case. So let's pop that open. And uh, because it's a little on the quieter side tonight, we're going to let we're gonna let Mike select the box that he wants to do. So it's a fresh case, 12 boxes. Now just FYI, some of these boxes may be uh, sold in store as well, so it'll all be from the same case. Uh, some of these will be in the showcase in the store, so I gotta try to make the markings. <coughs> okay, one through twelve, SWAT rat. Let let me know which one you want to do. One through twelve, your choice. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so he'll take number eight, which will be in this particular case, bottom middle. There it is. And here we go. Uh, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, if uh, <coughs> for the uh, duration of time that I'm on air, which is well, maybe a little under an hour, if you buy a personal box, I'll let you choose the box. I'll keep these boxes out here. I think we could probably knock out a few of these before we call it a night. Now, it's, this is not something I'm gonna do all the time. I think it takes too much time for people to pick the box and everything, so. I, I usually just grab it, grab the box randomly anyway. Okay, so let's pop these open. Two, one, two. Once again, uh, obviously all cards will ship to anybody who buys a personal box. We can ship these to you sealed as well. So if you buy a box you want it shipped sealed, let us know. I think most people opt to see these open live though. All cards will ship, obviously. Now, I know I'm going to miss some variations just because, just in the interest of time. But I would encourage uh, SWAT and everybody else who gets a personal box or gets into a divisional break of this on jaspishobbyland.com to double check these small little numbers on the back of the card to make sure uh, you're not missing any variations. Some of the color swap variations are sort of harder to spot. Some of the obvious ones we'll be able to spot pretty easily. Like the nickname variations, that's one of the ones that's, that Mike Bobby's looking for. He's looking for the All Rise, the Aaron Judge All Rise one. Those are, some of those ones are easier to spot. So I would encourage everyone do their due diligence. Cardboardconnection.com has a great variation list. You can definitely check that out. Good luck, sir. Here we go. 
kind of breeze through these right here, but some of these could be high number short prints as well, so be sure to double check. We'll also be checking the the uh, backs or the uh, those cups as well, those rookie all-star cups. Sometimes we'll have 1969 on them too. That, that's a different variation. Set that Aaron Judge aside. We'll sleeve that up. We got Robinson Cano. That is uh, six, 766. There it is, 766 out of 999. Now each box has a relic or an autograph in there. Just um, FYI, ladies and gentlemen, before you buy a personal box, an autograph is not guaranteed. In fact, in every case, in every case, there's really only like two or three autographs per case. So they're pretty rare. So even like, you know, even like, you don't have to get the hottest player to get like a lot of value in the secondary market, is, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Facsimile autograph. Just because of the, the relative rarity of it. Carlos Correa, is that different? No, it's not. So if you look on the backs of these cards right here, I'll show you the example. Take a look at that Carlos Correa. So these are the codes on the bottom. I know it's kind of hard to see. I can change it. I'll change the focus in a little bit, but it'll say 65 on the end of it. Those are just the regular base cards. So anything that's pretty much not 65 on the back is some sort of variation. See, so yeah, like this brand, is that an action? I don't think this not, that's an action card. It's not. Action card, they're actually like running or something like that. I do, this is interesting though. There's a mini right here. Nice. 58 out of 100 on this mini Josh Bell. What's great about Heritage is that this has become one of a, a really popular product for Todd. A lot of people building sets out of this. A lot of people are trying, probably trying to build this mini set as well. So a lot of those cards, especially early on, definitely have a lot of a lot of great value for the set builders. It's just a regular base card. Course, if we find an Otani base card in here, that'll be pretty huge. Variation even bigger. All right, so there's Kyle Schorber, Clubhouse Collection, game used memorabilia. So no autograph. But you got the Kyle Schorber pinstripe jersey. And the last stack, another facsimile autograph. I'm sure people are building those sets as well. Then and now, is that what's comparing D Gordon? Oh, I guess in terms of the speed, of course. That makes sense. Facsimile autograph. Man, no, no Otani, huh? Hmm. 
that is that. All right, some solid stuff here, but no Otani, no big variation that I noticed anyway. And the box topper will be four homers in two days. Fourth homer in two days for Cody. Nice. I remember that. And the cards on front, we've got Jacoby Ellsbury, Kendrys Morales, and the strikeout leaders, Janelle strikeout leaders, Max Scherzer, Jacob DeGrom, and Robbie Ray. It's a good strikeout guy. And there you have it. SWAT, thank you very much. Appreciate you getting that personal box on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Folks, we do have a fresh case just popped open. 11 boxes left. So if you want to go for a few before we call it a night, get into it. jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time.